Sorry about that, but I had to say, see if it was actually recording because I just recorded this huge long bit and it didn't record. So that's, you know, fantastical. And speaking of fantastical, I passed the test. The one that I was studying for and all sure I was going to fail as a human being about. But yes, I passed because I'm awesome and I rock. And I also got an interview for Monday, not for the post office, but for Banana Republic. So I might be not having not one, but two jobs. Ah, can I even handle that much excitement? I don't know. Can I handle that much money? I don't know. I haven't had an income in like over a month. So having money to spend is a very foreign concept to me right now. But it has nifty side effects like going on walks a lot, a lot more. Oh, I wish I had a bike. I miss my bike so much. I wish I could have brought it with me because this place, or Oregon, is so pretty and green. And all I want to do is ride my bike every day. But I can't because I don't have a bike. So... Um, but I do a lot of walking. What else do I do every day? I get up, I make tea or coffee. <laughs> I go online, let's go this way. I go online, I look for jobs, I go on Facebook, um, check my email, and then go around and apply for jobs. Like, that's what I've been doing almost every day since I got here. It's just been like looking for jobs nonstop. So I'm excited that, <laughs> Maybe I could have two jobs. That would be so exciting. <laughs> so much work. It's not a vacation. Unemployment is not a vacation. It is awful. I don't think people were meant to have that much time to spend to themselves every day. Uh, you go insane. Like you, Every negative thought that comes your way is just like amplified by the fact that you feel like a worthless sack of humanity stored in an empty shell. So... <laughs> It is awful, and I'm really hopeful that these that something will come out of these two opportunities that I have, because I'm awesome. I need to remember how awesome I am. Yes, don't. The bit I did before was about confidence, and uh, I just have been feeling no confidence these past few weeks. I've been feeling like the world's biggest loser because I don't have a job, and despite my best efforts, I haven't been finding a job, and it, it. It really destro destroys your ego. It, every day when you wake up, there's that crushing feeling of, I can't really do much. I can't spend money. I can't go to the bar. Because, oh, another thing is, I don't really have friends here. I've met the couple of friends, but, I mean, I don't have anyone I could just call up and hang out with. So, I miss my friends back home. I miss Caitlin, Stacy, the other Stacy, Alex, Tammy, all of you guys, Lynette, Pat. <laughs> all of you like I just I miss hanging out with you guys so much and it, it and yeah I could go to a bar but I don't have any money because I don't have a job and it's just kind of hard to relate to people that do have a job because they complain about the job and it's like wow I really wish I could complain about having a job I, I really wish that uh but it'll happen it will I just need to keep my confidence up having a job doesn't define who I am and if I let it then I mean, I made this choice myself to move up here to quit my job, so I just have to stick with it. There's no other option. I just have to wake up every day, and if I think I'm such a loser, I don't have to wake up in the morning. It's, you know, I just need to keep waking up in the morning early, keep looking for a job until I find one. And then I'll have to be waking up early for a different reason, but it'll be awesome. So anyways, <laughs> the whole, that's a long-winded way of saying like, I just need to really uh, stay focused and set my priorities. Priority number one, getting a job. Anyways, I'll probably have a video with me and Snickers going somewhere tomorrow. And then on Monday I have my interview. And hopefully after that I'll have a job. So I'll talk to you guys later. Tschüss.